Hi there, just a quick video blog update. We took the uh, the Pack USA 50 out sailing today. That's the stable mate to this boat. And um, we have some trouble with the B-Rig, which is what this one is. This is the swing rig for the Blue Splash. And uh, one of the problems that we had was that the boat had a great deal of difficulty tacking. Um, and usually that's a geometry angle on the rig, but we tried everything and it could not work. And this has gone on for a while. And today, uh, Eric Rosenbaum uh, made an interesting observation. The jib boom, as you can see here, is very long. It's the size of the piece that came with it. I never bothered to cut it down. And you can see this area here, how long this is, how far it protrudes back. And because uh, it's so long and because it had to fit on here, this moved the pivot point of the jib uh, probably further back. Instead of being up here, it's further back here. Um, so this has two problems. One is with the jib this far from the main mast, uh, that's inefficient and we're losing speed. Uh, the second issue is this geometry angle here, because of the pivot point and the gap, is the boat is tacking and the swing rig goes over, uh, the jib boom is rotating too much and as a result, it's kind of acting like a wind vane and pushing the boat back to weather. So uh, what we're going to do is a fix here is we're going to cut the boom down. We're going to cut, cut it off here and move everything back. And doing that should uh, give us a nice tight uh, B-rig. It should cut down on this big gap between the uh, jib luff and the sail. And uh, we should pick up some speed and tack a lot better. So just thought I'd share that with you if you're building your own rig and, and experience similar difficulties. So uh, when we get a chance, when we build uh, the Mustangs rig, uh, maybe we'll go into that a little more detail. Uh, until next time, have a good sale.